Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to just uh, be some testing out some new makeup. So if you like to see this video, let's go ahead and get started. I have a lot of makeup uh, to test out. Actually, I totally forgot it in my living room, so I'm going to go get it now. I got new brushes. And I got a lot of new makeup, and I'm so excited. I, like, I feel like I have not filmed in forever. And I really, I don't think I have really. Not much. <laughs> so, uh, just give me one second, and I'm going to try to uh, get my makeup that I forgot. Okay. So, I have a lot of makeup. I wanted to buy makeup and brands that I really don't buy a lot. I bought them just at Walmart. I did get some new makeup brushes. I got if I don't throw them anywhere, I might got them. <laughs> I got them at like a palette bin for like ten dollars, I think. And I got this at the palette bin too. As you see, if you all know Casey Holmes, I put her sticker on here. You get the sticker when you order her um, clothes and stuff. So I put it on here. Like where else could you put it? <laughs> So, I did that. I'm going to put this somewhere. Like, that's my other problem. I ain't got nowhere to set it. Okay, so you all know by now that we started, me and Kelly started our makeup, homemade makeup products. And we went to an event this past weekend. Three days. Well, let me tell you, it was tiring. <laughs> Very tiring. But... We sold a little bit of uh, our lip scrub, and we're doing a giveaway uh, to the 17th of this month, so make sure you t uh, you try that out. Go and do all the steps that you have to do to win that. So, also, I got these nails while I was at the event. Uh, it's called Color Street. I don't know if the woman wants me to say her name or not. But I asked her because I know some brands don't want you to say their name on YouTube. Like, not like brands like they're out in Walmart. Like, brands that you sell and stuff. I know a lot of people don't want you to, like, say the brands that I asked her. But her, I'm just going to say her first name is Morgan. I'm going to leave her link down below in my description box if you want to try out these nails. And I'm honestly probably never going to buy any nail polish ever anymore. Because these are so easy to put on. And look at how pretty they are. Like like in light, they shimmer so bright. Like, oh my god, they shine really bright. And I love them. And she has so like many options. And they don't take no time. And they can, and you can do them at least, I say about, um, you get like two strips and like one package. Let me get the pack. <laughs> I have a, so much to tell you all. Like it's literally ridiculous. So this is what I ordered. It comes with a cleaning pad and a nail file. And they come in these cute little packages like this. And it tells you how to do stuff. I'm going to leave her link down in the description. It says 16 long lasting strips. Um, and it's real, it's real nail polish. Awesome. No, so, and these are to called Tokyo Lights. And they're so easy to apply, and I love them. I really do, so. Like, especially when you're so busy and you cannot paint your nails. And honestly, let's all be honest, okay? When you buy nail polish, even the gel nail polish, I'm not trying to diss on the brands or anything like that. But when you buy nail polish, it don't stay on. For me, now some people might have some good nails that they stay on, but for me, nail polish does not want to stay on me, no matter what. Maybe on my toes, but on my fingernails, it don't want to stay on me at all, like long at all. Especially when they grow out, it looks even worse. So what she said is when your nails grow out on these, all you have to do is clip your nails off and they look fine. Unless you want long nails, then you might just want to redo them or buy some other ones. But I just want to let you all know about that so excited there's so much to tell you all about like i'm just like rambling on about all this stuff 
Because so much has happened in the last week. And it's crazy. But about mine and Kelly's makeup brand, like, uh, we called it Enrich Perfection. And I'm so excited about it. We're selling lip scrub at the moment. So, let's go ahead and get into some makeup. <laughs> and spray some. I don't, I'm not going to put no primer on my face. I just not about primer. And I'm not really about using brushes for foundation. So I'm definitely going to use my, um, I think this is Echo brush, uh, sponge that I got. And the foundation that I wanted to try out was a Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation from Rimmel London. I've never tried this brand really. So I was like, kind of like, ugh, I really want to try that. Oh my God. <laughs> And it's been opened. I hope that this is something that they might do. And this is literally a liquid mousse. Like it don't run. It's kind of like there. <laughs> I think it says in there or not. A natural looking all day shine. Sickly smooth formula that leaves perfectly perfectly matte baby soft finish lightweight texture won't feel heavy or greasy well, that's always good like oh my god it's like it's like icing i'm so excited oh my god let's hope this is good and i can't really wear revlon i kind of find that i found that out in high school sometimes i do try to sneak some <laughs> products in of, of revlon because i kind of like the way stuff looks this looks very light i wish i think every place and this doesn't go a long way you do not need a lot of product i wish every place that sells foundation or concealer or anything in that matter that you need something matching like every place is different i just wish that like they have an option where you can try out like you know test the products out on your hands and stuff like a sample product like I know they do at like, um, what's those places, uh, like Ulta and stuff. I know they do there. I just wish they had it at Walmart and stuff because, you know, like, I mean, and I know I usually do uh, eyeshadow first, but I honestly didn't buy no eyeshadow. Um, I don't have no new eyeshadow to try out, honestly. Uh, I might just put like maybe like a little color on, maybe like maybe a little bronzer or something. For that, I just, I never bought any eyeshadow because all the eyeshadows at Walmart, I just didn't like. They was like so high and like, you know, I didn't really want it. Very light, like, maybe it looks light because of my hair color, which that might have a lot to do with it. We can go ahead and put it on my I tell you my little just go ahead and do it all. Why not? Where I got my hair dyed, everything looks a little bit lighter, so I probably could use a little bit darker color. But I might try to do some touch ups with it with um the foundation. I mean the concealer that I got because it's a little bit darker than my foundation. Like I'm so used to buying like light products. I'm kind of scared because it's in way dark for my under eyes. <laughs> I don't know if it matches this foundation. If it like leaves a darkness, I might have to start putting a little bit over all over my face. To just blend in a little bit. Sometimes you just don't buy their correct colors. <laughs> I really don't show up. <laughs> and this is oh, I'm, so, oh, I'm so sorry. I literally didn't even say anything about that. It is maybe if I find it I might tell you about it. It is the infallible fadable glow progro glow concealer. This is you can actually use this for highlight, but I'm not gonna do that. 
that. Let me put some like color on my eyes. I really don't want to go all out with the color on my eye because I'm not really going anywhere right now because it's shiny and ballsy from uh, Jack on Hill. So I'll put a little bit all over my eye. This brush seems really fine. Like, I don't see no parts coming out of it. Like, you know how I hate ones that do that. Like, that makes me so mad. <laughs> okay, this mascara that I bought is from CoverGirl. I don't think I really use CoverGirl a lot. Like, really a lot. I don't think I have. And I used it already for one day. Um, I used it when I went to work and I have to say I don't like it but I want to give it another try where I just took a shower and all the other mascara that was on there before is off. I just want to give it another try and see how it would do. I didn't like it the first time and this is the Peacock um, way and it looks like this. I don't know if I'm like putting it on wrong or I'm just not really sure where I'm going. Okay. And they look alright. They look better than the first time. You wondrous dusted on. Um, and I'm going to use my, my blush. New blushes. Brushes I got for my blush. I'll be able to talk one day, hopefully. Evidently not today. Oh my god, like these brushes kind of do like an airbrush look. Like it looks kind of flawless. You know what I'm saying? Like it looks like it melts into it. This might be my new foundation. Like my favorite new foundation. Oh my god. So pretty. Oh my god, this foundation. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like spazzing out a little bit. <laughs> like going a little crazy. I can't believe I forgot about that foundation. I mean that eyeshadow that I had. Oh my god. I have me a highlighter brush now. I'm, I'm over the heels. <laughs> like, I'm a little wild. I'm going with the City Lights color and I use this for my blush. I'm just going to put it on my little brush brush. I'm just going to put it on there and I'm going to spread it out. Okay, so I have another highlighter. I forgot I got from Wet n Wild. So I'm just gonna put this on my nose and a little bit more on my cheeks. Like I'm sorry, guys. Like I literally acting like I'm like don't know what the heck I'm doing at this point. Oh my god, that just got brighter like ten times brighter. And it's from Wet n Wild. Oh my god. It's, I'm so lit from wet and wild. Like, yeah. I'm definitely lit with highlight right now. <laughs> it looks like that. Oh my god. I'm gonna go with this Casey Holmes Butter. Um, from Resistance for me. See that light because. When my phone goes halfway dead, it wants to lose a lot. I love, love this. It's so pretty. Mm. Okay, I got this 
Maybelline New York Lasting Fix up to 16 hour wear. Shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. It don't smell too good. And I just sprayed my eyes while it was open. I don't worry about myself. Okay. This was in all the things. I'm sorry guys. My video must have cut off. I was editing this video and just noticed. I loved everything. I'm definitely going to get a different shade for my foundation. I didn't like the mascara but I liked everything else. And I'm sorry. Make sure to check out my uh, giveaway. And I love you guys.